Pasta, salad, and dessert, and you care to eat for one low price? The Village Inn Pizza Parlor on Berkeley Boulevard, Goldsboro. The Village Inn announces its Monday and Tuesday night manager special. Monday and Tuesday nights only. The all-you-can-eat buffet. It's only free, 39 Every Monday and Tuesday night from 4.30 to 8 o'clock, the buffet is bargain priced at only three thirty-nine, dollars And it's only at one place, the Village Inn Pizza Parlor, 503 North Berkeley Boulevard, Goldsboro, where pizza is always in good taste. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, motor vehicle crashes annually cost our economy $138 billion. One-third of the total cost is caused by drivers who have alcohol in their blood. This is State Trooper Jeff Winstead, along with WGBR, reminding you to drive sober, defensively, and buckle up. We keep Wayne County on the cutting edge with the latest local news and Rush Limbaugh on 1150 WGBR, Goldsboro's very own. <laughs> Stupid uh, sandbox kind of song. What is this song? Ghost by who? Sylvester. <laughs> See what happens when you extend power and uh, uh, independence to your staff? They start bringing in their stuff from home. Sylvester. We're playing bumper music by somebody named Sylvester. Anyway, my name is Rush Limbaugh, and I am making the complex understandable to the average, everyday American who makes the country work. Listen to this note, CompuServe. Rush, if you think Heidi, this L.A. madam, if you think Heidi is hot, come to Texas. We'll show you how to truly define hot. By Texas standards, Heidi would be considered a Monday night date. <laughs> You wouldn't want to waste a good Saturday night on her. <laughs> Love those Texans. Uh, Concordville, Pennsylvania. This is Larry. Hello. Welcome to the Rush Limbaugh program. Uh, good afternoon, Rush. Thank uh, you, sir, thank for you calling. so much for taking the calls. And Nano Diddle from Philadelphia. Thank you. Uh, I would like to uh, comment on our uh, next uh, thing that's going to uh, uh, hit from uh, Hillary Health. I'm a small business owner, and most of my expenses are made up in people. Um, I don't have hamburger flipper jobs. Uh, my lowest rate person, I was paying $18 an hour. Uh, my highest, I pay 33 an hour, uh, plus an automobile, and plus uh, holidays and vacation. Mm -hmm. However, I do not provide health insurance. Uh, well, <laughs> get ready, pal. We're going to get even with you for this cruelty of yours, not extending health care benefits to your employees. You deserve to get soaked. You deserve to be gotten even with. You are the most insidious. You're the kind of guy that we pass this bill to get even with, sir. I hope you know that. Well, the, the, the problem that uh, people like myself are going to have and uh, is that uh, the economic climate uh, precipitated by... Uh, by this liberal administration uh, is going to preclude people from raise, uh, raising the rate. No, no, you've got it all wrong. Trickle down's over. Prosperity's right. <laughs> That's I'm quoting the administration. The, the Reagan era is over. It's reasonably you should be throwing a party instead of complaining, calling here and whining about things. Well, the sum total of what's happened, Rush, is uh, during the past year I have been. Uh, dropping off people and exactly the opposite. Wait, 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 wait. You mean letting them go? I have been letting, letting them, them go. Off. Oh, gee, boy, because now, boy, I'll tell you what. You really are a snake. But, uh, let me give you the reason. It's very easy to figure out how much this health insurance is going to cost. It's a, it's a close-kept secret. Uh, but based on uh, Newtonian physics, uh, you don't get something for nothing. If you take the total number of people that are working in this country, um, and the total health care costs, yeah. uh, you can figure out that it's going to be at least uh, anywhere from about $5,000 to $7,500 per person. Well, let me give you a dirty little secret. 
the latest trial balloon that's been floated by the health care task force, which has been doing all of their work wide open, of course, uh, is saying that the employer is going to pay 80% and the employee is going to pay, pay 20%. Uh, which is going to come to as a major surprise to major many Americans who thought they were going to get it for free. <laughs> well, the, the, the cost that I figure is going to be—it's a practical joke. <laughs> this whole thing is a Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton practical joke, really. It—it's going to cost me about five to six thousand dollars a year, and the problem is, you know, per employee, per employee, additional. Additional. Oh, gee, well, you ought to absorb it well, because you've made obscene profits and you had unfair benefits through the 80s. This is what this is all about. It's getting even with you, Larry. Well, I have made good money. There's, there's no question well, about see, it. Well, see, it's time but, to give some of it back. But I've been paying right now. I'm paying 53% of my income is going to taxes. And I, I really think that's enough. No. I mean, God only asked for 10 percent. Why, why does the government ask for 50 percent? See, you're being, you're not understanding this. You're being totally selfish, uh, greedy. Uh, you're, you see, you are, you are uh, exuding here all the characteristics that we have got to just weed out of our society. I'm glad you were so brave to call and admit these things. I mean, you're, you are making yourself a, you, you have, if what we have just heard here, folks, this man has just defined the target of this administration. You know, Larry. Now, if I may get serious with you for a moment, everything you've said here, you have, I hope you were, in fact, this is a best of call. This entire call is a lesson because guys like Larry here are exactly who are being aimed at and targeted by this administration and this plan. I, I Get this on tape. I mean, we're going to play this in the next hour because this is profound. What Everything you have said about what has happened to you in the past, what is going to happen to you in the future, how much taxes you pay now, the fact that you did make some money in the past, all of the ingredients that make you the enemy of this administration, you've, you've articulated uh, uh, just brilliantly. I, 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 don't, I totally understand why you're a little uh, afraid. You ought to be. Well, I can't continue because the... The profit margin that I have, the additional cost is going to exceed my profit margin. So it's going to make people right now, uh, to me, unprofitable. And when you do, when you have that, you have only one choice, and that's to uh, to well, drop off people. Lay why off. don't you? Well, why don't you uh, instead of laying off people, why don't you use compassion and concern and caring and, and borrow money and expand? Well, uh, uh, number one, it's very difficult to borrow money right now. Number two... Why? Why is it difficult? Tell uh, people why it's difficult to borrow money. Uh, because of the uh, uh, banking regulations that we have. Right. They're not extending well, loans to commercial cannot, portfolios. <laughs> well, businesses cannot borrow money, regardless of the interest rate. It's very difficult. You can't get it. Now, if you, were, if you wanted to get a mortgage for your home, you probably wouldn't have any trouble. But uh, you, since you, you want to that. expand your business, you're a, bit, you're a risk. That's true. And, uh, and actually, uh, I have to agree with the banks because there's going to be, there's hundreds of thousands of small business people like me that uh, primarily are uh, services uh, that are going to be hit. And there's going to be a massive, massive layoff of uh, people. Uh, and I'd like to make a prediction. Well, uh, okay. But I will, before you make your prediction, you shouldn't even worry about that because Al Gore is just waiting to target new technologies. <laughs> and to and try these new areas of, of expansion and growth working in concert with uh, with the uh, private business and it's going to be okay Larry well I, I don't know how they're going I'm in a I'm in a high-tech business and I don't know how we're going to be retrained uh, there still has to be jobs for high-tech people what's uh, your prediction my prediction is in the uh, Hillary help bill and I want everybody to know that they've heard it on the Russian and Bosch show is that it will be illegal to lay off people or there will be severe uh, economic penalties to lay off people due to uh, health care costs. So if you're going to uh, reduce the force, uh, you do it now. Do it now, otherwise it's going to be too expensive. And these people in Washington aren't stupid. They know, the, uh, you know, they might be dumb, but they're not stupid. There's going to be a provision in the health care bill that says if any small business or employer fires somebody because of the coming costs, that they are going to be penalized and not allowed to do it, in essence. That, that, that's your, that's that's your prediction. That's true. We are, we are going to be in a system uh, similar to, to uh, 
uh, Western Europe. Well, I mean, where have we heard that? I mean, just on today's show. Here's another example, folks. This show today has been worth a full semester of economics at any institution of higher learning that you might go or send your children. Because most of this won't be taught. Socialism be taught as a great thing. Socialist theory be taught, man, just get this to work right for once. Boy, we have utopia. Thank you, Larry. You've been a star on this show. You're going to play your call over and over as I see the need to educate people. We'll be back. You're listening to the EIB Network. <laughs> Ever wonder why Bill Clinton is so anxious to raise your taxes? You won't after you read the unauthorized Clinton financial audit. Yours free from the American Spectator. This is the revealing audit compiled by Lisa Schifrin and acclaimed by Rush Limbaugh and Bob Dornan as must-reading. Find out how the Clintons dodged paying Social Security taxes on Chelsea's nanny and how you pay the babysitting bills today. How Hillary gained thousands in tax deductions on throwaway items, including some intriguing used clothing. And why a former IRS commissioner says the Clintons may be guilty of failing to report income. Call now and get your free unauthorized Clinton financial audit. Call 800-826-1110. For $34.95, you'll get 12 issues of The American Spectator, America's only conservative investigative magazine, plus a free copy of a shocking audit the Clintons don't want you to see. Call 800-826-1110. Ask for your free Clinton audit and The American Spectator. 800-826-1110. Know what it feels like to try and breathe when you have a cold? Well, when your car's intake system is dirty, it has the same trouble breathing. But Precision Tune has the cure, and here's Precision Mechanic Bill Waters to tell you about it. This process is called Daytona Intake Manifold Cleaning. If I've got any restrictions, such as carbon on the intake valves or build up in the intake manifold that we've never been able to clean off before, but with this process, we clean it off. We breathe so much better. The engine breathes so much better. It idles smoother. It has more power. It's the most fantastic service I have ever seen. I'll go grab people off the street and tell them, this is the greatest thing I've ever seen. And it works wonders even on older cars. The dirtier it is, the longer mileage that it has on it, the more effective the Daytona intake manifold cleaning is. It's only available at Precision Tune, and it's only $99.90. I know of nothing else that even comes close to competing with this type of cleanser. You can eat off the inside of the engine. Ooh-wee! Serial port, parallel interface, modem, fax, RS-232, AB switch, your mouse, why this is confusing! Well, stop by AIM Electronics, see the new line of computer accessories. <laughs> QBS and AIM Electronics can make your computer connection simple. AIM Electronics has a new and expanded inventory of computer accessories. QBS with a complete line of computer accessories at competitive prices at AIM Electronics that you won't believe. QBS and AIM Electronics making the right connections for you. AIM Electronics 411 East Ash Street, Goldsboro. Making a good first impression is important. And your office furniture says a lot about your business. At State Office Equipment Company, our business is making yours look good. Good. From the lobby to the boardroom, we offer quality office equipment at bargain prices. Store manager Tommy Thompson invites you by to see the wide variety and savings or call 731-3000 and a representative will drop by your office. Doing things the right way for over 30 years, State Office Equipment Company, 2211 East Ash Street, Goldsboro. We deliver. <laughs> Exciting things do we have to discuss in the next hour? Uh, Ruth uh, Ginsburg sworn in today. Ooh, there's a, a new survey out um, conducted by the Exec Magazine about what kinds of daydreams people have in the office. And a lot of them are sex-oriented. Uh, how about the Saturn recall? Every Saturn automobile manufactured before 19, uh, what was it? Well, it's, it's 352,000 cars just to fix a wiring problem. Also, 
The President of the United States has snubbed the Boy Scouts of America, and the Boy Scouts suspect he's re refused their invitation to attend their jamboree because of the gays in the military and the gay ban uh, in the Boy Scouts uh, as perhaps one of the reasons. All this and more when we come back. McCall's Barbecue Highway 55 West in Mount Olive invites you in for just one taste. Just one taste, just one taste. And you'll know that we're the place. Barbecue and Seafood in Mount Olive is now open 11 to 9 p.m. every day of the week to better serve you. To celebrate our new hours, McCall's in Mount Olive offers you our fried shrimp special Monday. Fried shrimp, two vegetables and dessert for $3.75, good all day Monday in Mount Olive. Get the fried shrimp special Monday at McCall's in Mount Olive for $3.75. McCall's Barbecue and Seafood, Highway 70 and 111 Golds. We're on Highway 55 in Mount Olive. Yeah, just one taste. All that it takes. That's all WGBR, Goldsboro's very own. From ABC News, I'm Gary Nunn. A judge in Sarasota is deciding whether 14-year-old Kimberly Mays can divorce her biological parents. A complicated, controversial baby swap case, the teenager wants the court to declare she will have no further contact with Ernest and Regina Twigg. Mrs. Twig on Court TV recalls a moment during the proceedings when her eyes met Kimberly's. Just instinctively, the words came out of my mouth without verbalizing them auditor auditorially. I love you. And those are my words to my daughter, and they will always be forever my words to my daughter. Kimberly is making plans once the decision is made. We might go on a cruise, or um, we're going to go somewhere. Her advice to other kids who might now be in a similar situation? Go for it. <laughs> what do you mean? Explain. Go for the divorce. Go for your rights. The judge promises a written decision within a few days whether to grant Kimberly's wish or allow the Twigs visitation rights. The budget bill is now law. President Clinton signed it in a big ceremony on the South Lawn of the White House today. But ABC's Walter Rogers reports the slim margin by which it passed Congress was not very evident in what the president said. It may have passed on a squeaker of a vote, but President Clinton turned the signing ceremony for his budget bill into a White House extravaganza. A big South Lawn ceremony with a Marine band, members of Congress, and scores of cameras. Equally extravagant was the political rhetoric. President Clinton called the budget and tax package the beginning of a new direction for the nation. Vice President Gore, who cast the tie-breaking vote, making the president's legislative victory possible, said the budget bill reverses a decade of trickle-down economics. But both the president and vice president said this is just the beginning and there must be a lot more budget cutting when Congress returns. Walter Rogers, ABC News at the White House. The Mississippi River north of Cairo, Illinois, appears to be receding at the rate of about a foot a day. Major levees are holding. You're listening to ABC News. Well, I don't have time to drive all over town. I get my film developed at Kmart. <laughs> the prints are great. Look at these. Well, my husband could have smiled more, but... You know they do next day developing? Even with double prints. I got four kids. I'm always taking pictures, and I'm always coming to Kmart. I just toss the film in my purse. That way it just sort of comes along with me to Kmart. You can't beat them, really, for photo finishing. It's like they say in those TV commercials for Kmart, the quality you need, the low price you want. So me and Jake are having a party at the beach house. We're also having a heat wave. The sun's beating down, our friends are passing out. So we stir up a pitcher of Lipton iced tea mix, pass it around, and then... That brisk tea hits us. So crisp, so clean, so thirst-quenching. Yeah, that's Lipton, all right, because only Lipton is the brisk iced tea mix in five delicious fruit flavors. Lipton tea, the brisk brings out the... Ah. 
The American Heart Association is trying to undo some claims made by the purveyors of a fad diet making the rounds this summer. The diet based on ice cream and hot dogs promises a 10-pound weight loss in three days. The diet claims to have the blessing of the Heart Association when it really does not. United Nations aid officials say they are grateful for the rescue of five-year-old Irma Hadzimorotovic. But they are reminding the world there are many more children and adults with no offers of help so far. Mamon Nahas of the Bosnian Information Center in London points out. We have thousands of children suffering, waiting for any uh, uh, medical treatment. We have three children died every day because they haven't any medical treatment. Our hospitals is out short of any medical supplies. They have no fuel, they have no water, they have no, no electricity, no gas, nothing. We, we are, are dying every day. Nahas also says Irma's father, who accompanied his daughter to London, seems happier now because for the first time he is seeing the girl sleeping on her back. The British government is putting the squeeze on drug companies, ordering them to cut prices by 2.5% beginning the 1st of October. Part of a voluntary price regulation agreement designed to put the ceiling on profits companies can earn from selling medicines to Britain's National Health Service. Wall Street, Dow Jones Industrials down 5.59. At 3570, volume 180 million shares. This is ABC News. A pulsating spray of gasoline is projected through an opening no bigger than the head of a pin. Your fuel injectors. In here, even a speck of dirt can bring your car to its knees. May we suggest Chevron gasolines with Tecrolene? They keep fuel injectors very clean. You get through the traffic, we'll get the gas through the injectors. Chevron, simply smarter. For the ABC Information Network, I'm Gary Nunn. Family, we're going to test our home for radon, but we're going to have to act fast. Why the rush? Jones across the street told me he's testing for radon this week. Look, honey, testing for radon's a great idea, but keeping up with the Joneses isn't the reason to do it. You got a better one? Well, radon's the second leading cause of lung cancer in the country. Gee, I'm smarter than I thought. <laughs> yeah. Test your home for radon now. It can be done quickly and inexpensively. For more information on radon testing, call 1-800-SOS-RADON. A message from the Ad Council and the EPA. The high pressure should give most of us lots of sunshine and below normal temperatures again this afternoon. Then more humid air begins to return to the area tomorrow. Our forecast for this afternoon, mostly sunny and rather pleasant out. The high ranging 83 to 87. Then for tonight, partly cloudy, some patchy morning fog possible. Lows dropping to about 64 to 68 degrees. And for Wednesday, partly cloudy skies with some isolated late day thunder showers. The high again in the mid 80s. At the Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Mike Moss. Now, more broadcast excellence on 1150 WGBR. Welcome and greetings to you, conversationalists all across the fruited plain. It's the award-winning thrill fact ever exciting, increasingly popular, growing by leaps and bounds. Rush Limbaugh program, where we make the complex understandable. That's why people love it here. This is a special edition of the Rush Limbaugh program. Yeah. America held hostage. And now, from our studios in New York City, here is Rush Limbaugh. Day 203 of the raw deal. The Clinton presidency. The hostage crisis known as the Clinton presidency. The raw deal modeled after the New Deal, which is totally misunderstood in American history. The New Deal of Franklin Delano Roosevelt did not bring us out of the depths of the Depression. It was World War II that finally accomplished that. After seven years of the New Deal, unemployment remained at 17 to 18 percent. Don't tell that to President Clinton, whose idols are people who are thought to have had massive government spending programs and made everybody prosperous. Yip, 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 yahoo. 
but it doesn't work. You remember that guy I was telling you, telling you about? Some of you may not remember. The 900 Rush Line, our VIP Rush Line, where you can call and get a, all kinds of timely and wonderful information about me and also leave a comment. Some guy got hold of it and was just spouting profanity like we'd not heard it before. I can say anything I want without you punishing me at all. Blah, 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 and then launch into this. Yeah. This is the guy that he said, I was born during the joke stage of human evolution. <laughs> and then started launching with his. We've given this guy a name. He is our audio version of Robert Maplethorpe. And um, a mistake was made the first time he called somebody, it, Johnny Donovan, said, oh, we can't have this on the VIP rush line, and he deleted it. So we excoriated Donovan for doing that, save that stuff for the Christmas party. So the guy called back, thankfully, we got some more insanity. <laughs> well, let's see, Johannesburg, South Africa, a, cl a camouflage clad... Schoolgirl armed with a crossbow held classmates hostage Monday and demanded talks with an environmentalist about the vanishing ozone layer. So, uh, yeah, I'll tell you, folks, this is actually starting to manifest itself. You know, these uh, nerds in the clouds like Vice President Gore and, the, and a number of other these environmental extremists have got all these kids scared to death that they're going to get skin cancer if they go outside for five minutes, that the um, American way of life, prosperity, is destroying the ozone layer. So this little kid grabs a bow and arrow and goes into her school and holds her classmates hostage with a bow and arrow until she's uh, granted an audience with environmentalists about the ozone layer. Police said that the nature-loving 16-year-old was persuaded to free her hostages and surrender her weapon by the headmistress of Parktown Girls High School, who convinced her she was equally concerned about the environment. The girl's being questioned, but probably would not be charged. The ozone warriors are on the march. It's only a matter of time before, except when it happens in the United States, it's going to happen, some kid's going to have a gun. And uh, we are going to hope that the class has been properly trained what to do when shots ring out. We know of one school district undertaking this uh, task out in San Jose. They're being taught how to duck fast underneath desks once shots ring out in class. A related story. Oakland Park, Florida. The police department Monday fired one officer, demoted another, and suspended a third, saying they went too far with teenage prostitutes they were trying to arrest. Two officers were videotaped having sex with the girls by a surveillance camera. The tape shows one officer allegedly receiving oral sex and another being fondled. This was a prostitution operation, and the operation should have stopped well before any sexual contact was made, said Police Chief Edward Overman. The arrest of the girls and the subsequent investigation uncovered a ring of high school girls allegedly working as prostitutes for Thomas Hildebrand, who is uh, jailed awaiting trial. Arrest affidavit said the girls charged $150 an hour, giving Hildebrand 40%. One girl said she was making $3,000 a week. Do not know if they were wearing condoms. Doesn't say. Doesn't say. Well, thanks to the good teachings of Sidney Biddle Barrows now and to this Heidi woman out in California, this is becoming the rage. Uh, Governor Wilson's letter. Let me, uh, let me, a lot of people are trying to come up now with what to do about immigration. And I, I'm struck, too, uh, by this. I've told the story a couple of times. My father, who will be 102 years old next month, has often told me that he was born in 18, uh, he was a senior in college in 19... 20, 18, I think, and in high school in 1908, did I write this? Nine, seven, yeah, in 1908, 1908, you know what the debate topic in his high school was that year, or in his school district was? Resolve, 
that the immigration of Southern Europeans should be stopped immediately because they are destroying the fabric of American society. Southern Europeans in 1908. The notion that immigration is something new, or it's a problem uh, is new, is, is false. But is it worse now than ever? Or is it always something that's bothered Americans? Uh, the, you have to really be careful about this because everybody, when they're alive, thinks it couldn't have been any worse any other time. It just, and that, now, if you think that it's worse in 1993 than it was in 1908, maybe you ought to try to talk to somebody who was alive in 1908. That's tough to do. But there are people who could, who could if they could remember, could tell you. But, boy, it's tough to have the emotion attached to the issue when you're alive uh, when you're studying it at a time you weren't alive. You're not going to have any emotional draw to it or contact with it at all as an issue in 1908. But boy, it's driven by emotions now. So I, th I think that it's got to be studied very carefully. Now, Governor Wilson, in his uh, open letter to uh, President Clinton, has suggested... Now, this is a good idea. This is an example of how our... You might want to call it our goodness of heart. I'd rather call it our socialist tendencies have gotten us totally in a problem, and, and we are very screwed up. He wants to uh, pass a constitutional amendment which would deny citizenship to American-born children of undocumented workers. He said that citizenship should not include, and this is in his, uh, in his letter, every child whose mother can make it to an American hospital. Two-thirds of all births at Los Angeles public hospitals are children of illegal immigrants, said the governor. He wants a tamper-proof ID card and repeal of federal rules that make undocumented workers eligible for health, education, and other benefits, he says, cost California $2.3 billion annually. Now, he has opponents. They say the proposals are against the grain of the nation's immigration foundation. You're always going to have those people who are going to say, hey... Show me your green card. Show me the fact that your parents all came here legally, huh? You start this now, we may be able to show that you shouldn't have even been here because your parents came here illegally. You know, the guilt-laden. The guilt-laden will say, hey, you can't enact a policy now because it's unfair to the people now. What if it would have been enacted back then? I might not have been here because my parents would not have been allowed. But you do have to take into account the current stress and strain that is being placed on our system. Not just from illegal immigrants, although the, the stress and strain being provided by them is, is considerable. But we are faced with uh, uh, a massive problem of more and more unproductive people, healthy, capable, yet unproductive people living in this country. We are, I mean, not we, the, Many in the in the in the left have successfully uh, conditioned a number of people to expect that all benefits will accrue to them from government. And, so, for that. and the stress and strain on the productive sector, people who accept the responsibilities of life, go out and get a job. The stresses and strains on those people are greater and greater than uh, than ever before. There are also, and I, you, you probably have seen these. I saw it last week, and I don't remember where. Should have clipped it. A number of uh, surveys are out now which say, hey, you know, these illegal immigrants are working. They're not over here on welfare. They're not. This notion that illegal immigrants are sponging and committing crime and fathering and, and, and creating all these kids is just not true. Uh, there are some people putting out this notion that it's the problem is not immigrants, the, 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 the illegals and legal immigrants that are coming here. We ought to have more people like them. They're coming, they work 24 hours a day, they bust their tails. They are, they are here trying to seek opportunity. It's the people born here who have no uh, concept of what life is like anywhere else. They're born here and they're raised here and they're told how rotten America is and they grow up believing it and so they sit around on their duffs all day embittered and angry. 
Now, somewhere in there is probably uh, a truth, because it cannot be denied that the state of California is simply overwhelmed with paying social benefits to undocumented Im immigrants, illegal immigrants, who are, uh, they're raping the system. They come in and, and, and these people then, as the governor correctly points out, just because they're born here, even the, the children of illegals become citizens automatically. It's in the Constitution. And as such are entitled to all the benefits and so forth. It is a, it's a serious problem. I would suggest, however, <clears throat> that we all focus on what the root of the problem is. Because while there are a number of immigrants who come to the United States for the purposes of working and working hard, there are many who come here because the word has spread how easy it is to get a check. So the root of the problem is not that we have so many illegals wanting to, or so many people wanting to come here. That always, to me, remains a positive sign. It's why. The more they want to come here because life is easy compared to where they are simply by showing up and living on the dole, then it's a sign that our entire system of social welfare and benefited-oriented or benefit-oriented government has gone totally astray. And I think until we come together, that's why I'm so happy this plan passed. That's why I think we finally might get the final nail in the coffin of this whole notion that a centralized authority with a loving, wonderful, compassionate, oh, yeah, I hate suffering, I when I see it, kind of people can elevate all out of the bonds of mediocrity and poverty. It just can't happen. And if it takes this to demonstrate that the true salvation of the individual is rugged individualism and self-reliance, virtue, discipline, and accepting responsibility, then fine, let's go ahead and do it. And let's get it solved one way or the other. And if it means the end of liberalism and the end of the liberal wing of the Democratic Party, then we'll throw the party then. And we'll be in trouble. It will have The country will be in bad shape when this happens because we're going to go through this experiment. But it may, it may just be where it may not take long. We may be, folks, because of the pressures being brought to bear by all these illegal immigrants, it be because of the pressures being brought to bear by an increasing number of people who look at government as their solution to everyday problems, including financial. It could well be that this plan is going to cause a deep deflationary recession by the middle of next year. Just in time for the key 94 elections. Now let's just wait and see when, when that happens. Let's hear them explain it. President Clinton, uh, what's happened here? Why are we in a depression? And I'll, let's, like I told you two days ago, I'll tell you today what the answer is going to be. A, the roots of troubles, troubles and problems, and the roots of absolute destruction that were planted during the 80s are far deeper than we ever knew. It's going to take us more years than we ever thought to correct the problems. We're in the process of fixing them now. You just don't know it because it's so bad. But we're, we're hopeful. And then he's going to say, well, you know, it wasn't even my plan. My plan was not even what was voted on because the Republicans wouldn't go along with it. We couldn't get any Republican support. And so the plan I really wanted to do, which would have fixed America, we had to get a compromise plan. As you know, I wanted to be to you tax. We got a guest. He's famous for this. Hey, a buck never gets here. Hey, I didn't bring up this gays in the military. The press, bro, I never talked about a middle class tax. But what do you? It always runs from it. So those are the things that are going to happen. But the American people are going to are not going to be fooled because they're not fooled now. You aren't fooled now. So immigration is a problem we do have. But I'll tell you, folks, the big problem with almost throughout our society, morally, financially, the big problem is that we still have too many people who think that every problem can be solved by the effort to make everybody the same, financially, fiscally, morally, uh, intellectually, and it just can't happen. And until we come to grips with that,
uh, or get people in office who know that it, it isn't true and, and leave them there for a while, then we're going to continue to have the problems. We've got a quick break because I'm over time. Back right after this. You're listening to the EIB Network. <laughs> I find the stock market confusing. The real estate market is flat. My CD is losing me money. Having a hard time finding a place to create your financial future? Hi, I'm Scott Lane, Advertising Director with SMR Digital Communications at 800-595-2001. If you have a pioneering spirit and a minimum of $10,000 of discretionary funds, you need to consider the next wave of cellular communications. According to Forbes magazine, $2,000 worth of a cellular company in 1983 could be worth as much as a half a million dollars today. Many experts believe digital cellular is the last telecommunications breakthrough of our lifetime. Call 800-595-2001. Own a piece of tomorrow today. Discover a future you can place your trust in. Call 800-595-2001. That's 800-595-2001. School's out. Report cards are in. If that report card said, get help with reading this summer, try Hooked on Phonics. Hooked on Phonics is a fun and easy way to sound out and read most of the words in the English language. So from preschool to high school, this summer, let Hooked on Phonics be your personal reading tutor. Maybe this fall, you'll be at the head of the class. Call Hooked on Phonics, 1-800-ABCDEFG. So we're in the backyard having a family picnic. It's hot. It's sticky. The twins won't come out of the pool. My wife and daughter won't even come out of the house. So I brew up a pitcher of Lipton iced tea, pour it around, and then... That brisk tea hits us so crisp, so clean, so thirst-quenching. Yeah, that's Lipton, you betcha. Because only Lipton is the brisk iced tea. Lipton tea. The breast brings out the ah. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Taylor. Yes? yes? How is our little... I'm afraid it doesn't look good. Oh, no. Things went well until we got into the cylinders. You uh, didn't use Slick 50, did you? Slick 50? Slick 50 automotive engine formula, Mr. Taylor. It's only the number one treatment against engine wear. Engine wear? But we don't drive... Drive fast? You don't have to. Stop and go driving. Even just starting your car can do it. Now, we can save it, but it'll never be, you know, quite right. Uh, well, it hasn't been right since Harold ran into... Uh, uh, let's go, Marge. We've got to get some Slick 50. Performing my job with flawless broadcast excellence, this is Rush Limbaugh on WGBR. Do you have your Rush is Right license plate yet? Rush Limbaugh, the most listened to talk show host in America and in Wayne County. Some say he's the most dangerous man in America. The trumpet fanfare signals that it's time for an update. And some say he's right on target. You know, it, it is amazing how right I am about so many things. It just, it's, it's mind-boggling. And he says he's just a lovable little fuzzball. <laughs> Get your Rush is Right license plate at WGBR Highway 70 West, $2 each, or at Knowles Carpet, Wayne Memorial Drive, for only 50 cents each, but hurry. Supplies are limited, and they're going fast. Rush is right every day on 1150 WGBR. See, you kind of, you should have left it in there. Ain't no stop. Like Philadelphia Bunch, right? Yeah. 
All right, well, we're back. Rush Limbaugh and the EIB Network. And I am being excoriated on CompuServe uh, for the same thing Mr. Snurdly excoriated before. Let me read to you two examples. Uh, I cannot agree, Mr. Limbaugh, with your insensitivity regarding that woman who broke down in tears over the phony job ad. Maybe you, Rush, have lost some touch with reality. I have no time for whiners and believe, like you, that people should just get busy, work hard, and make things happen. But I give that woman credit for at least getting off her butt, arranging for a babysitter in this day and age when many children are simply locked in an apartment. If mom wants to leave and, uh, to, and, and for at least try to employ herself and get off welfare rolls, you have no idea of her history and shouldn't have. I wasn't laughing at, um, I just... I wasn't laughing at her. I was. I stopped. <laughs> He's shouting through the glass. You're stupid. You're stupid. I was not. I just the, the business of tears. I I don't know. I just maybe it's a man thing. But this business of tears. Geez, this kind of disappointment happens all the time. This is life. I'm I'm not. Here's another one. I mean, this is, this is even, this is about the same tone. Mr. Limbo, I agree with you 99% of the time. However, when you say it should take more than a practical joker to dissolve someone to tears, I must disagree with you. I don't know where you can get off saying something like that without knowing all the circumstances. Maybe the lady spent her last two bits on the babysitter in hopes of finding employment. Do you know? Apologize, Mr. Limbo. I've been in that boat myself. Maybe not showing it outside, but crying for a break any break. Yours very truly, James Iverson. <sighs> Gee. Uh, I... You know, that is a good point. Maybe she'd spent every last bit of money she had to get there. She did go all the way from the Bronx. She did travel all the way from the Bronx. Um, and uh, it was a cruel hoax, um, and she did get a babysitter, and she went to tremendous efforts. To, maybe, maybe I was being a bit insensitive. I, but I am not laughing at the plight. I'm not laughing, and I'm not laughing at all. I was, I was being critical of the tears. It's come on. I just, I just. Um, uh, I don't know. These two letters have really got me thinking. Because, you know, what's always... I mean, I have the thing that has... Like, what I say I do, I make the complex understandable to people. And, and that means that I have this ability to relate to people. And if, if this is a... See, I've been waiting for signs like this that maybe I'm losing it. I've, I've, been, I've been waiting for signs that maybe I... Oh, gee... Do you think I am? Do you th oh, no. Everybody's been saying this. <laughs> to you. You need Arctic Spray. Pain may be something you thought you had to live with, but no longer. Thanks to Arctic Spray, Arctic Spray provides hours of cooling relief for arthritis, muscle aches, and pain, including tendonitis, strains, cramps, and swelling. Spray the pain away with Arctic Spray. Available at Thrifty, Fedco, Clark Drug, Good Neighbor Pharmacy, Horton and Converse, and soon to be at Walgreens and other fine retailers. This is WGBR News, Goldsboro's very own. This is Wayne Alley reporting WGBR News. The Wayne County Schools Community Advisory Committee was told by Dr. Charles Rivers last night that a search is on around the state for an expert to assist in the academically gifted programs in both the former and city school districts. Also, Shirley Sims Stewart told the committee a study is underway to see what can be put together as a magnet school to attract students. 
But Mrs. Sam Stewart assured the committee that nothing will be taken away from another service in the process. Finance officer Bill Troutman told the committee the school board has provided more than $300,000 for the expansion of technology. Dr. Steve Taylor solicited committee concerns and input relative to student assignments and attendance lines. School board member Jim Parker questioned whether...